pantry guys I wanted to bring you along for a delicious idea if you're on a low carb or a keto friendly diet uh, I discovered this last week chaffles what and it is so easy and so delicious that I had to do a video for you I've made them several different ways and I absolutely love them I've got me a, a mini dash waffle maker which I'll leave a link down below so you can get your own they're under ten dollars they work fantastic for this. It's the perfect size. If you want to use your chaffle as a bun for a burger or a breakfast sandwich bun, unbelievable how easy and delicious that is, this is. So I had these, I had two of these for breakfast and it literally uh, made my day. So um, I'm going to bring you along and show you how I made this. And I hope that if you like this, you give me a thumbs up. You'll subscribe to my channel because I'm doing tons more keto friendly ideas and recipes that will make your menu soar into 2020. All right. Well, we're already in it, right? Okay. And give you some ideas of maybe some Super Bowl snacks coming up. All right. Let's get to making a chaffle. I did a ham and cheese with green onions and a little red pepper flakes and oh my gosh, yum. Come on. Okay guys, so now we're ready to go ahead and put this together. It literally takes a couple of minutes and you're ready to go. I've got one beaten egg and you can do these where you've got them ahead of time if you'd like. Um, I, I have done them ahead and taken them to work and put them on the waffle iron at work too. So the, uh, it's totally a game changer. I want to put two tablespoons of crushed pork rinds. Trust me. And a lot of people call these a poffle because of the pork, but I just, I continue to call it a chaffle. A little bit of green onion, about a tablespoon, chopped green onion. I've got two tablespoons, maybe, maybe a, just a heaping tablespoon of diced up deli ham, delicious, and a half cup, loosely half cup uh, of grated mozzarella. Can you use a different kind of cheese? Absolutely. You're just going to add more fat. Um, I don't add salt to this version. If I didn't have the pork rind in there, I would add some salt, but I am going to add some pepper. And I think I might even add some red pepper flakes because, well, you know me, I like it spicy. All right. So chaffles can be used in place of, look at that, in place of uh, a bun. And I had a burger the other night. I've had a breakfast sandwich. I've, I've played with this many, many ways. And I will be bringing you the chaffle train um, and I bought my little dash, uh, iron here, waffle iron. I bought this on Amazon. I'll leave you a link down below. They're under $10 and they're fantastic. So this has been preheating. You want to spray it with some coconut oil or whatever you like. Um, I did spray it down with some coconut oil and you're going to take your mixture and this will make two chaffles. And this is about the size of an Eggo waffle nice and hot so you want to take about half your egg mixture spread that out a little bit mm -hmm. it's gonna be good and look at that and when you use it as a bun it becomes this thick hearty bun and this will go about five minutes you can leave it in there and um, let it get really crispy uh, the cheese crisps up and it's delicious. So I'll be back when it's all said and done. And we're eating our chaffle. Mm. Okay guys, so the chaffle is just about done. It's still steaming. I like to wait till most of the steam is stopped. But look at this. It doesn't stick. It's crispy. Mmm. Yum. So just a couple more minutes. And we'll put the second half in and bring you back when the second one is all done. And I'll show you Okay guys, result. I have my two chaffles here. I go ahead and put some butter and I use Kerrygold butter. Um, I put some butter on here. Oh, it smells so good. And they're crispy. 
and delicious. So let's get a bite here. Let's get a bite. And chewy. Mmm. Absolutely wonderful. The ham and the cheese. Well, you know, ham and cheese complement each other anyway. But you can get a little bit of that green onion. It is not eggy. If you do not like eggy dishes, please do not be scared of this. This is not eggy. It does not have an eggy feel. Now, it's very savory. Mm. Can you hear that? Crispy edge. Even the ham crisp that worked. It hit the surface of the iron. Mm. Sorry. This is a great breakfast. It's full of protein. It's full of your healthy fats that you need to get in. If you're doing a ketogenic diet, this is a great way to have a super breakfast. Now, you can make this into, as you can see, a breakfast sandwich. So you could put ham. You could put another fried egg in there a piece of sausage, whatever you like, you can put that in, sandwich it in between and have an even heartier meal to get you through. If you're one of those that only eats twice a day or once a day, make it that big meal. My goodness, I made a burger the other night with this and I could, <laughs> I could hardly finish it. It was so hearty. And I tried to make the burger patty as thin as possible. It was just a really hearty, hearty burger. So. Anyways, I'm going to finish my breakfast and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe. I hope this inspires you to try a chaffle and or a puffle in your breakfast or lunch. I've had these for lunch several times this week and I absolutely love them. All right. And you can do them just plain. Leave the ham and cheese or the ham and uh, onion and all that out and just do the cheese and the egg and they're just as good. Okay, guys. I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe. Bye.